Hi, in this video we'll be looking at how to create cascading lookups. Cascading lookups are used when a lookup's values need to be restricted to the value of a previous filter. For this example, I've got account types. So if I change the account type to income, for example, and then come to the account lookup, the account lookup will just show the values for income. And if I change it back to expenditure, for example, then the lookup will show just the expenditure items. This principle can be applied to any lookup where you need to restrict the following values to a smaller set. A number of filter options will be used during this demonstration, including subqueries and drop down lists. Let's start by rebuilding this query in a new workbook. I'll come across to cell E6 so that I have enough room for the filters later on. Let's come up to the table, select the table, set the mode to summary report, select the product. In this case, I'm using SAP Business 1. Next, come down to the table and I'm going to use GL transactions. Let's build up the basis of the report. I'm going to start with the account code and then come into the chart of accounts and select the account name, the account type. I'll place that in the first column and then finally the amount. I'd also like to put the account type in the filters so I'm going to drag and drop that into the filter area as well. If I try and preview the report at this stage I'll, I should get an error on the account type because it's not currently set. For this reason I need to set the account type with a valid value. I'm going to use AR for income. Now we can preview the data. The next step is to parameterize this report. So I'm going to come over to the workbook and enter in the parameterized names. So the first one will be company, then it'll be the account type, and then the account. Now I'd like to change these filter values to reference the cells in the workbook. But before I do that, I need to put valid values into these cells, otherwise I'll get query errors. So I'm going to come into the lookup on the company, copy a valid company, and paste it into the cell. And for the account type, I need to enter in a valid account type. So just for this example, I'm going to type income. And for the accounts, you'll notice that the filter on the account has come up with a reddish background. This means that the account type is mandatory and it cannot be left blank. So if I was to cell reference the account type at this stage, I'd get an error saying that the account type can't be left blank and it's mandatory. For this reason, I need to see the account type with the keyword all at this stage. Now that the parameters are ready, we can cell reference them. So I'm going to select the company, double click on the company, and you can see the cell references appeared in the query builder. Next, the account type and the account code. Now that the cell references have been set, I can preview the report and you can see that the previewed results are restricted just to income. Let's press OK now and you can see the results have come back into Excel. I'm just going to adjust the column widths. Now I can double click on the account type cell and change the value. Notice that the account types appearing as codes on the left hand side with a description so I can choose from the list but I could also type in the word income. If I don't type in a correct value then errors will occur and they're displayed in the list. So what I'd like to do is take better control over the values in account type by restricting the list there are a number of ways in which this can be done, but I'm going to use the features built into Excel. If I come to data and then select data validation, you can see that I can set up various validation methods. I'm going to select list and in the source, I'll type in the valid account type values. You can see that I've also added the keyword all, so I can select all the account types and then I have income, expenditure and other. If I come to the account type, now there's a drop down and I can select income for example. Then we come to the account lookup. You can see that even though I've selected income, all the accounts are still shown. Let's go in and change the behavior of this so that 
the account type will cascade down to the account lookup. Come across to the query that's just above the table and double click on it. First of all, let's have a look at the account type. Right click on it and select change name. This name is used in the cascading logic. It's passed down to a subquery, so take special note of this name. Next, come down to the account code and select on options. On the right hand side, you can see that we've got a button called create subquery. This is where we can change the look and feel of that lookup. Let's create the subquery and you can see that another query builder has opened up. This is where we define the lookup. For this example, I'd like to change the table where we get the accounts. We're not going to get them off GL transactions, but chart of accounts. So I'm going to select the chart of accounts table and the columns will be account code, account name, and finally the account type. Also, I'm going to drag the account type up into the filters. This is where the cascading logic kicks in. You notice that the company is referring to the parents company. This is set by using the drop down list on the side and we can reference the parents filter values. I'm going to do the same for the account type. So select the cell and then come across to the drop down list and here is the name of the account type in the parent. I'm going to select OK now and we can ignore this error. Now before we continue we need to set the options for how the lookup is going to behave. You can see there's a number of options under the subquery button. We need to select subqueries used for lookup value selection, which is the middle one. And I'll press OK. And we need to reset those cell references. So I'm going to come across and double click onto the account code again. The cell reference disappeared because we created a subquery and we need to redefine that link between the cells. I'll also reset the account type cell reference so it's pointing back to the spreadsheet. Now we can press OK and we can test the results. If I change the account type to income and then come to the lookup, lookup will just show income. And if I set it to expenditure, then the lookup shows expenditure. Next I'd like to address the, the account code lookup. And currently it's insisting on a value always being entered into the account code. If I wanted to set this to blank, then I get an error saying that the account type is mandatory. I'd like to change this behavior so that we can leave accounts blank when we want all the accounts instead of having to enter in the keyword all. Let's come back to the query and have a look at the account code mandatory filter. Because it's mandatory, we have to enter a value. So what I'd like to do is drag up the account code again. And for the mandatory one, I'm going to come into options and basically disable this filter. So I'm going to get rid of the cell references and I'm going to set it to all. And down the bottom here, we have prompt only filter. This will basically comment out the filter. You can see it's gone yellow. Normally these prompt only filters are used when we want to collect information from a user and pass it to another filter. But in this case, I'm just using it to disable that mandatory filter. Mandatory filters exist because for optimization reasons, we may want to force the user to restrict the set. But because we're creating our own account code logic, we want to override this. Now that we've got our second account code, we can now come back and cell reference the account value and we can set this to blank. Press OK and if I come in here and set it to all and then come back and set it to blank, you can see that, that no longer errors occur. Next, I'd like to produce this same report in Publisher. Come back in and edit the query, right click on the filter area and select copy to clipboard. Now we can start up Publisher. Once you've started Publisher, select New and we'll give the report a code. I'm setting the group to SAP B1 and the title will be Accounts Report. Come down to Edit Query. It will start Query Builder. Right click and select Import Query from Clipboard. You can see that this is the same report as we were working on in Excel earlier. Let's have a look at the account type up. Currently it's still set to the default. 
we'd like to do something similar to what we did in Excel where we have a custom list. So let's right click on the account type and choose option. If you have a look down at the bottom here, we have an option to show filter values in drop down pick list. I'm going to select this. This will show whatever values are currently in the lookup in a drop down combo list. But in addition to this, we have a custom list where we can provide a common delimited list similar to what we did in Excel. I'm going to paste in the list of valid values that I'd like to show in the web panel. You see I've got all, income, expenditure and other. Let's press OK to this. And just as we had before, we need to define a lookup on the account code. But let's just check that this is still here. So we create the subquery and it'll be over chart of accounts and the outputs will be account code, account name and the account type and the filter will be on the account type and will restrict the values to the account type of the parent value. Ignore this error and come back. Now the report's ready for viewing so I'm going to press OK, press apply and then come up and copy the link to the report. Then open your browser and paste in the link. You can see that the filters are up the top here. Here we have the company, the account type which is in a drop down list based on that common delimited list we defined earlier and then we have the account code and the period. If I select the account code you can see that the account codes are just showing expenditure and if I select income and then select the accounts again now we only see income. Let's just change the look and feel of this prompt area across the top here so that we have more room to show the filters. Come back to Publisher, select the Report tab and I'd like to stack the filters so that there's only one per row. I'm just selecting stack filters and then I'm setting this to one. Apply this and refresh the report. You can see now the filters are stacked with one per row. If we submit the report, you can see here that it's just expenditure. This has been a brief overview of how to create cascading filters.